Welcome back fellow survivors. Today we are going to try to get us a small structure slash house going. So the first thing we want to do is let's check our ingram points here. And let's get us a thatch foundation. Let's get us a wall. And we'll have to wait on the rest for a little bit. Alright, but first, let's go ahead and gather us up some thatch. So we'll take the pick, and we'll go after these trees. That ought to be enough for a little bit. Let's run back over here and check our food supply real quick. And that ought to fill us back up. Alright. Let's go ahead and get us a foundation going. And then we'll need more fiber. So. Back to the bushes. I can't stress enough the struggle it is with fiber. Everything needs fiber. But it's alright though. <clears throat> because you can find it almost anywhere. And any of the plants that you pick up will contain fiber. And you might not always get fiber out of those plants, but they should contain fiber. couple more here. We're going to try to avoid going too far into the forest because it is dark and I don't know what's in there. Also, if you have your torch out, if it gets too dark for you, you still can pick plants while having your torch out. So just keep that in mind. Also a torch also helps give you a little bit of warmth whenever you get cold. Which right now our fortitude is still low enough that it's not making a whole lot of a difference. But later on you will see a difference. In Alright, let's get this one. Let's go ahead and put one on our weight. It is very important to have a decent amount of weight so that you can carry all of your building supplies and various other tools and food and all that good junk. Let's learn the door frame. We'll learn the door and we have enough to get the roof. All right. Go ahead and put our foundation in our hot bar. And we need some wood now for the rest of it. There's a little bit of wood. Alright, let's get our foundation placed. We'll place it right here. Go ahead and grab just a little bit more wood. And let's go ahead and craft us up three walls, a door frame, a door, and a ceiling. Alright, let's go ahead and place, and as you can see, the 
the walls will snap to the foundation that we have placed. So if you left click, you'll place down the wall. Place down another wall and our third wall. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our materials in our hot bar. Door frame. There's our door. Hit E to open the door and we will put a roof on this. There we go. Now, before we get hungry again, because our hunger meter is dropping, let's go ahead and kill this dodo. And we'll use our pick, because you get the most meat out of using a pick. And let's get it on the fire and get it cooking. We'll light that and we'll let it go for a bit. Now, can we finish? Yes. Let's go ahead and make a pair of gloves and we will finish our first cloth armor outfit. Turn that over. And just for a little bit of flair, I'm going to go ahead and equip the hunter hat skin right on top of there. And now we got us a nice survival hat. We are looking good, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking good. Alright, now let's go ahead and see, do we have any more ingram points? We only have one. So it is back to collecting and gathering. So we will collect and gather and we will work towards our next level. attacking us. What do we got here? Switch back to our spear. We have ants. Just good technique for ants is to back away from them as you are poking them with the spear. And we will use our stone hatchet to gather from them. A little bit of raw meat. A little bit of chitin. Let's go and put that on the campfire get it cooking up. Go ahead and drop that charcoal out and we'll put the fresh meat in there and we'll pull this meat out. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and eat these berries to reduce a little bit of weight on our guy and fill our food back up, which berries not only fill your food, but they also fill your hydration up as well which it's raining right now so that's kind of a little bit pointless but it'll be all right Go ahead with that we are so close to a level there it is all right now Go ahead. Let's go ahead and put another into our weight. And now I suggest we learn the storage box and a hide sleeping bag. Alright, we still need a little bit more hide, actually a lot of bit more hide to make the sleeping bag, but we can make us a storage box so that we don't have to carry all this excess stuff on us anymore. We'll go ahead and put it in our hot bar and let's hop inside our house. And we'll go ahead and set it right here behind the door. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and store this metal. 
Titan. And the hide. Along with some seeds. Now you don't have to keep every seed you find. Because we won't use them for a little while. But having a few on hand will help you later on. Go ahead and combine those two stacks and this. Alright. And it seems we've run out of wood. Let's go ahead and if you hold down control and then drag, you can drag off a few pieces of wood and then recombine them and you don't have to put your entire stack in there and we can finish cooking our meat. make another spear yes all right I'm gonna craft up two extra spears because I just saw a parasaur over there and we're gonna go hunting to see if we can't get us the hide we need now it's very important while you're crafting when you try to move or run you are slowed down so keep that in mind before you go after anything that your crafting does slow you down. Alright, let's get this. Parasaurs will run, but fortunately for us, they do get stuck in trees quite often and rocks. And if you right click, we can throw a spear. And this is why I made several spears, just in case. And we got it trapped on the rock. So, I'm going to use my hatchet this time, and we are going to try to get the hide to make that sleeping bag. And I do believe that we have enough. Alright, we are going to craft us up a sleeping bag. I always check your surroundings whenever you're playing this game. You never know what's lurking around the corner or behind a rock. beach and I believe there we are right here. All right, we are back. Let's go ahead and drop that in our hot bar and let's see if we can place it in here. We've gotta wait for it to turn green in order to place it click once and then if you need to or want to you can rotate after that and then you can click again and it will place now as you can see it says here we have a fast travel option if you hit E they'll bring up this little map alright this is our location right here if we have another bed somewhere else we can actually fast travel to that other bed but you lose all of your inventory in doing so so if you ever fast travel, always keep you a box nearby so that you can store your stuff in there. Alright, let's take a quick minute to look around and see what kind of critters we got running around near us. See a turtle out there. And there's another parasaur. Alright. Let's go ahead and return to the house. Well, guys, I think this is going to wrap it up for me today on this episode. I hope you enjoy the series, and I hope you come back tomorrow for the next one. Until then, keep on surviving. <laughs>